What's up guys, Sam Rebels Off-Road. We are doing part three of our trailer build. And today we are gonna be doing some of the electrical for the trailer, gonna be adding some lights, gonna be adding battery power to the trailer so we can run some LED lights. Um, also shore power so we can have our charging strips and stuff like that up in the tent. And we're gonna be showing you how we're gonna be running all of that and doing that today. So. If you haven't seen part one and part two of our trailer series build, we're building a toy hauler to carry our KRX and also have a rooftop tent up top. Um, you can find those uh, videos. I'll post them in the link down below in the description of this video. So if you wanna see the first couple parts of this build where we make the rack and put the tent up and do some of the little details and stuff like that, you can check those out. But we're going to go ahead and get started in today's video. Go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe for more great content. Let's get started. Okay, so we have most of what we need. Uh, I have a battery charger um, that will hook up to shore power. I have our shore power uh, little receptacle there with three leads coming off. I have grommets. I have a switch plate here. Um, I have the power strip that's going to go in the tent. I have my remote. I have my LEDs. I'm going to get into those in a little bit. First, going to start on the um, shore power. Uh, oh, I also have a, a marine battery over there. I forget what size it is. It's deep cycle marine and RV. Anyways, I think it's like a 31. Um, 31s or 31m or something like that i forget anyways gonna be mounting that in the toolbox here gonna be mounting the uh, electrical outlets probably on the side here and fitting all of those electronics in here gonna try to take up probably just half of the space of this box so that it allows uh, the other side for tools and stuff like that but i'm um, gonna go ahead and get into it right now probably need to figure out the battery mounting first so i have this uh battery adjustable universal battery mount which i'll have to drill holes in the bottom of the box to fit up so that's what we're going to be doing first so this is kind of cool it has a little wing nut and this slides apart um, and then these little J hooks also have wing nuts to hold the battery down so you're going to take off the wing nuts here put the battery in get it fit up where we want it so I think I decided I want the battery up towards the front Nice and square. So, gonna go right there. This is going to fit on right there like that. Perfect. So we'll need the drill holes so these J hooks can go down and through. Make a little gouge in the paint. through the hole in the clamp and then we put the hardware on okay so got the j bolts gone through the hole in the bottom of the uh, toolbox and then up through the clamp and this battery is nice and secure now um, and we have all this space back here that we're going to run the rest of the wiring back through here so that is what is up next we have the battery secure and so now we're gonna work on the shore power. And so I got this. 
By the way, all of this stuff will be down in the links in the description of this video so you can find what I used exactly for this build. They'll basically be affiliate links, which means that I'll get a small percentage of the sale, but it won't cost you any extra if you use those links. So if you wanna check them out, go ahead. It helps support the channel and we'd appreciate it, but you don't have to. Um, so, but we will show what we use exactly down in the description. So this is a little uh, receptacle is the proper term for it. And it splits off into three extension wires. And so we're gonna mount this on our box so that when we pull up into shore power, we can just plug in a single cord and it will power on all of our electronics in the tent, our battery charger, and anything else that we might wanna run, AC maybe down the road, heater, stuff like that. So uh, that's what we're gonna do next. It takes a two inch hole saw and basically it has threads on this and you run down a little jam nut to secure it. So that's what we're gonna do next is find the placement that we wanna put it and use our two inch hole saw to cut the hole for it. We gotta have enough room behind this um, with the battery and everything and that's one of our main considerations honestly so let's see where where we're going to put it we'll probably put it right near the crease yeah okay so we're going to put it right near the crease of the box here and we're going to do it down low i think um just so the electrical cord doesn't have like a long like high drop to run down so let's go ahead and get our two inch hole saw all set up and we're gonna drill a hole probably right there. Well that drill bit didn't last long. Jesus. All right, got a new drill bit on the old hole saw. So gonna go ahead and drill this hole. that hole you can go ahead and <clears throat> feed our cords through do one at a time Now we got the plug there. They gave us some little screws um, to drill in through here, just so it doesn't rotate, I believe. Um, this is already secure uh, pretty well. So we're gonna go ahead and put these screws in. So now that we have our outlet receptacle installed and the wires routed back here, we need a way for the wires to come out of the box to go up to power the tent and the other um, accessories and stuff like that. We are going to run this power strip up into the tent. And this is a cool power strip. It is actually a water resistant and it's got a IP rating. I'll put it on the screen here, but it's got two USB ports and a USB-C port as well as the 320 volt outlet um, plugs. And it's got a breaker and everything in there. So this is a really nice little part. It's also got a nice length extension cord to it. So we're gonna run this all the way up through the bottom of the tent and into the tent where we'll attach it. So first thing up for that is now that we have the power running into the box, we're gonna run it back out of the box. And so I think what I'm gonna do is drill a hole right here um, so I can route the wires back through here and up the uh, little leg there. So that's what's up next. Gonna go ahead and drill a two inch hole. Um, got these two inch grommets that we're gonna be using to route those wires, keep it pretty sealed and stuff like that, so. We're gonna pull these edges, pop this grommet on. There we go. 
Now this grommet um, will protect the edges of the cut and keep the cords from uh, you know, fraying and stuff like that. And also will help keep it sealed. So we'll only cut it to the size that we need to fit the electrical through. Okay. So here's the part that is gonna be kind of painful to me. <laughs> So I want to make sure I don't mess it up is I'm going to have to drill through the bottom side of this tent um, and it's aluminum. So I'm not worried about drilling through it so much as I am. This is an expensive tent, so I want to make sure I get it right the first time. All right, here's the big moment. Peeled the mattress back so I won't have that in the way. I want to try to keep it as close to the edge as I can so we don't have any issues. <sighs> Ran out of battery, so popped a new GoPro battery in and uh, gonna take you back, show you what we were talking about. Uh, we were drilling the hole through the bottom of the tent last. And so I did that, I'm gonna show you. So if you look there, it actually has a foam core. So it's actually some insulation between the uh, aluminum panels here, which is pretty cool, actually. I uh, really like that. That's a nice feature. All right, so. Gonna go ahead and take our power strip up into the tent. Gonna fish the line down through and then we'll put the grommets on. Uh, I think we'll put the grommets on later. Yeah, we'll probably put the grommets on after we fish it through. Uh, just to close that up as much as we can because it's nice to add the insulation, but if you have a big hole there, insulation ain't doing jack. So let's go ahead and get up into the tent and see what we did. Okay, so we're up in the tent now. And as you can see, there's daylight there. So we're gonna go ahead and fish this down through there. All right, so got, I'm gonna have to dress these up a little bit more um, in a minute, but got the cable running out here up Got a zip tied all the way up. Got it going across there. Up with a grommet, basically a grommet on the top aluminum panel and the bottom aluminum panel so that it'll seal it up as best we can. May shoot a little spray foam in there eventually. Probably, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Um, depends on how much heat leak and stuff comes through there. The mattress is gonna be over top of that grommet slightly, so I don't really see it being a huge issue, but you know, we might end up putting a little bit of spray foam in there in the future. So next up, we're gonna be installing our battery charger and got this one off of Amazon as well. It is a 20 amp or 10 amp battery charger. It's a smart battery charger, so it actually will reduce the amperage um, and go to slow it down to a trickle charger to maintain the battery voltage um, once it's recharged. So this should be pretty good. Should run all of our lights and everything um, pretty much nonstop without having to actually, um, you know, drain the battery. So we're going to get some Velcro, I think, and hook it up back there. I think we're going to mount it up to the back wall somewhere like maybe down in here uh, depending on how i can dress these wires up i think it'll go against that back wall just velcroed down or maybe uh probably won't fit on the floor so yeah, probably just up on this back wall somewhere gonna go ahead and grab some velcro strips i got some uh just some general stick it velcro um i'm gonna put that on the back and slam it up against the back wall of that, hook it up and uh, hook it up to the battery. All right, so I got some Velcro stuck um, onto 
the box and took the adhesive backer off of it. And so basically I'm just going to slap this up into place and then we want to be able to read it. So that's why I'm actually going to put it up higher than I originally anticipated um, because I want to be able to read the output on it and it has a digital out reading. So I'm going to put it right here. Press it on. There we go. I can go ahead and plug it in and dress up the wires. And I think that will be basically all of it for the um, 120 volt for now. I uh, just wanted to have something to charge up the battery really realistically right now. So, so have something now, charge up the batteries in the tent for the GoPro and have something to charge up the battery in the box. This guy. There we go. Zip tie all this extra slack out of the way. Clean it up a little bit. Tuck that down there. Out of the way for now. Okay. So next we have the plug for it and it comes with alligator clips already hooked up but it also has little lugs we're gonna be using the little lugs so we're gonna have to pop this off and uh, crimp on these lugs all right so I got the battery charger all hooked up got the uh, wires crimped on with these lugs there and uh, got the kind of wires tucked down kind of out of the way how I kind of want them um, not quite done yet. I have this switch panel to add. I'm going to add it right there on the side. Should have enough room uh, to route the wires. A USB ports, a voltage meter, a cigarette lighter, and then four switches. I'm going to use one for a water pump. I'm going to probably power on the light socket for the voltmeter there so that's not running all the time. You can just flip that on the, the check the voltage and then the alien light is going to be the lights for the trailer and then the accessory lights I believe either are going to be for the USB and the um, cigarette lighter or maybe just the power on all of them but that is what's going on right now started to drill the holes for that but before i do that i'm actually going to start on the lights i want to get the lights kind of set up so i can close up the tent um might have some bad weather coming in here soon so i want to go ahead and get the tent portion done so i can close it up and uh that means that the lights have to be all situated so um went with these lights uh from dark eagle cool part about these is they have the brake lights integrated into them so i can wire up the trailer brakes um and they'll light up and i got i believe i got the 10 pack i'm not sure got a bunch of different different things but um got a combination of strip lights and also their uh like rock lights so i think we're gonna put some of the rock lights under here kind of a work area under here plus it'll be able to see the side by side easier and then the strip lights i'm gonna probably put back there somewhere just so we can have a good mix of things they come with these i believe four pin connectors yeah four pin connectors so you can co combine a mixture of strips and rock lights and then they have splitters and other things that we might have to get into Hopefully not though, it has a lot of good length to it. So I'm hopeful that we can just go ahead and rig this all up with the length that we have and um, won't have to buy any additional splitters, extenders and stuff like that. Uh, I think it'd be pretty cool to have this part lit up for the Rebels Off-Road on both sides. And on that side, we have the step. So that would be nice to have that um, kind of place lit up. So when you are getting up in the middle of the night, you have a nice lit spot to step so you don't trip and fall off the trailer. 
because knowing me, I would trip and fall off the trailer. And we do not want that in the middle of the night. Um, so lights will help. All right, so gonna go ahead and unpack all this. Gonna start um, kind of mocking it all up and we will be back. So running out of time for tonight, but wanted to show you, I got one side kind of routed the way I want to. So basically we have the control box is gonna go right here. Obviously, I'm gonna dress up these wires and uh, cover them up uh, good. This one's gonna go that way. I've got this side kind of routed. So um, the control box, it comes off. I'm gonna run the power and ground down there to the battery and switches. And then this comes off here, goes up. There's a four-way splitter there. Comes off of there. Gonna have one rock light there one rock light there one rock light there i'm thinking i'm gonna put a strip light right there i gotta do a splitter though first before i can do that um don't have the splitter so then come down here i have one strip light there come down here and have one strip light that goes across that whole rebels off-road sticker which is pretty sick then comes over here and then I'm gonna have one rock light go right in between the trailer tires. Uh, and that's just, once again, I gotta secure it uh, properly. So haven't done that yet. I gotta, probably gotta drill a hole. Yeah, so I gotta drill a hole in the uh, actual fender there to have it pop out and then it'll go right there. So probably gonna do that real quick and then that will be it for today. So the next time you see this, it'll probably be all wired. And so we'll just basically cut to that. So I got it all marked up. Um, worked out pretty well. Still have to dress up some of the wires and stuff like that. But just want to show you the progress. So got this um, panel all siliconed up, cut the hole in it and uh, wired this up. So have our fresh water pump, our um, voltmeter socket, and um, the lights and the accessories. So the accessories turns on these two ports, the USB and the 12 volt um, cigarette lighter port. And then the alien lights, show you this, hit that, and on come the rock lights. And so let's show you where those rock lights are. So basically I have uh, one there, one there, one there, and then it comes around here and I have a strip coming down there. And then there's a strip up under there, right above the Rebels off road. And then if you come over here, I have a rock light right there. So really cool chasing feature. I'm um, gonna probably show you in the dark here in a couple of hours when it starts to get dark, just how cool this is. But you have a remote control. You also control it with an app and this will give plenty of light, I think for, you know, cooking, for, um, you know, coming in at night, late at night for riding and stuff like that and uh, getting down, you know, and uh, stuff like that. So at night when you're camping, it's, not a big deal. So I'm gonna show you this next. This is the inside, the wiring setup. So I'm gonna scoot this battery over actually. It's a little bit too far that way. Um, but check this out. Got the battery charger hooked up and working. It is right now, um, it's just topping it off, I believe, um, for this battery here, which is our marine battery. And this should be plenty of juice for, you know, running the lights and stuff like that, which is the main thing that this battery is here for. So I'm going to dress this up a little bit more as well, but this is the basics. Got the outlet plugged in. Um, and yeah, pretty happy with this. Going to have half of this box open for storage and stuff like that. Probably put a piece of wood down. Um, the separate out the half with the electrical and then the half with the storage right now I just have some boxes and stuff in there um as well as my uh 
screwdriver um, drill. So that is about it. Gonna finish up routing some of these wires, get them um, all dressed up. And then next thing you'll see is the lights at night. Gonna check them out and see what they look like. Um, really excited because we have a whole bunch of different light patterns and stuff like that, as well as this will trigger the brake lights. So got to uh, finish wiring that up. But um, once it is wired, the brake lights will be shown whenever you stop the trailer. All those LED strip lights, rock lights, everything will turn red. So really excited about that. That's a pretty cool feature. And uh, yeah, excited to camp with this. Um, with this tent, with these lights, and excited to continue upgrading this trailer as we go because we're going to be doing a lot more uh, far away trips upcoming in the future and, uh, you know, want to be comfortable, want to have a nice place to stay on our road trip. So let's cut to the lights. So it's nighttime and we're going to go check out the lights. Um, so super excited about this should be pretty bright i already have it on out here um on the brightest setting and uh all right let's go ahead and see if you can see it now gopro does not do low light filming well so you know that this is bright if you can see this nicely um because GoPro does not pick up colors and lights very well in the dark. So it's very dark out here in the country. Um, and so have the app already open and basically um, you can just select a color and it changes the color. You can change the brightness. Like I had it pretty much all the way bright. Um, and uh, let's see, it's gonna dim it down. So I was having some connectivity issues with it. You can see it's little the wheel there, it's working now. So there, you can dim it down, brighten it up, you know, do different colors. Check that out. Really cool. Um, there's also different modes I think you can do. Let's see, um, uh, let's go, maybe do one of these modes over here. Do the yellow pulsating. Let's see it broke connection. Let's try it again. Anyways, while this is thinking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and show you over here just how cool this turned out. Check that out. Isn't that super sweet? Got the Rebels Off-Road sticker lit up. It's looking really cool from back here. Got the rock light down there. Check this out. Now, this is a really cool camping setup. Um, even if you know you can't change the color easily, I mean the app seems not really be working very well, honestly. Um, a little disappointed in the app, but we're gonna uh, troubleshoot it a little bit later. So check that out. Got the step here and look at that so plenty of light you know once i have my kitchen set up here i have a little table here even in the green light though it's really nice um got everything dressed up pretty nicely and so yeah this is pretty sweet um i'm really happy with how this turned out so like i said the app itself is kind of a little bit glitchy it seems like so maybe um we'll try to see if we can hook it up to a different app or something um but yeah overall really happy with how the lights turned out really happy with how my battery box turned out the electrical and stuff like that i think that will work out really well um and so yeah i might just have to change it or have one color set up beforehand because this is going to get annoying i think unfortunately um i have two controllers so i might swap it out for the other controller um see if that helps out not sure if it will because um you know they're the same controller 
uh, same type of controller, but I'm gonna go ahead and swap them out and see if that helps anything. Okay, so swapped out the controller and now it seems to be working much better. So um, let's hit the, on the app, change colors, green, blue, yellow, like a purple, red, uh, that's that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so, um, and then the white, so, and then also the dimming function now works really well. So there we go, that is all the bright um this is the brightest setting here and plenty of brightness to you know walk around get up in the tent um this is the tent entrance but check that out nice and lit up got nice illuminated step here yeah so actually really excited with this um the app seems to work pretty decently. Got a, uh, I mean, it's it's a little finicky here and there, but um, once you have it pretty close, it changes the colors just fine, changes the brightness just fine, just a little delay, but not too bad. So um, you can also use the color wheel, change it with the color wheel, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and. Shut it down for the night, change it back to white, because that's probably what we're gonna be running with. Um, for the most part, it will be either white or maybe an amber color um, for when we are towing. We want to have probably an amber color and then it will turn to uh, brake lights. So also you can turn off, I believe you can turn it off and on from the app as well. So let's try that. Yep. So there we go. Now darkness and then back on. So sweet. As long as the controller doesn't give me any more issues, I think that this is a win. Um, yeah. Gonna go ahead and button everything up. Gonna close up the tent um, so that we are ready for our next riding video, which will be Wolf Den Run. Um, State Park in Maryland um, upcoming that will be the next week's video and then after that we will be uh, the very next videos will be at our subscriber ride so go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet we also have that giveaway that's running up into our subscriber ride the Wednesday before is the last cutoff date for that giveaway um, we have a bunch of good prizes we have a sticker and t-shirt package um, I'll probably link a picture of what we're going to be giving away right there um, also we have the bead buster tire de-beading tool and then we have a new prize which we've announced on our facebook page head on over to rebels off-road official to check out what that prize is but that's another really really awesome product that we're going to be giving away um and you don't want to miss it so i'll also post down in the description the giveaway link um to the video that tells about the giveaway and how you can enter and how you can get all of your entries and make the best uh you know chance of winning that giveaway is because we have now three prizes really nice prizes that we're going to be giving away um and so you don't want to miss out on that so smash that like button and subscribe for more great content we'll see you next time because i'm a live life for the fight yeah i'm here to get it i got drive got sight always have a vision i go by at night i be in my feelings i'm a be fine need time